everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this, in today's video, um, I, I wanted to show you uh, some of my cooking journals um, because as you um, will be aware, based on my other videos, um, cooking and food, they're both um, one of my major like um, life forces, my ikigai if you like, my reason for existence, um, kind of lifelong interest. Uh, took a sort of little backseat during my Kate Winslet eight, um, obsessional period, but um, currently, alongside philosophy and reading, is my big, big thing. Um, now, um, I, not being a most organised person, um, originally, um, when, when I wrote down recipes, they were all kind of, um, uh, kind of like all mixed together, you know, i just written on bits of paper and kind of got lost and it was rather disorganised. But my support worker has been helping me kind of organise things and make things a little bit more ordered. And um, I struck upon the idea that it would make more sense to kind of put all my recipes into one journal. Um, because then I can access them. It will be easier for me to access them, access the recipes when I need them. And it's a, it's a, lot, better, it's a, it's a, it's a lot better system than a one, than a one before. Um, so what I've done is I've put my recipes into two journals. Um, this recipe here is um, is where I put all my savoury recipes. Um, it's funny because it says I would like to paint the way of bird sings. It should really say I would like to cook the way of bird sings. But I got this from the works, by the way. They're really good for like journals like these. And um, so what I've done, so it's all it's a blank bit of paper, and um, I've kind of categorised them. So I've put the pasta recipes together. So that, these are here are the pasta recipes, and I put in, in big print at the top, you know, pasta, so I can see at a glance that those are pasta recipes. And um, and then I also have uh, soup recipes, soup recipes at the back, um, there's just a few soup recipes there. Um, I also have um, potato recipes, uh, rice recipes, um, you, when I say potato recipes or rice recipes, I don't mean that it's just potatoes or rice, I mean that these are... Uh, this, is, this is when I'm looking and I'm thinking, hmm, I'd quite like to have something that goes with potatoes today. So again, I can leave through and I can see, oh, that's potatoes. Like, for example, um, the poached salmon with tarragon, that kind of mainly goes with potatoes. I mean, it could go with rice as well, but um, it kind of probably goes a bit better with potatoes. So that's why I put it under the potatoes. Incidentally, the poached salmon with tarragon, as you can see, you might be able to see in the camera, the poached salmon with tarragon, I did that with my support worker because, as you know, um, I'm trying to overcome my OCDs around cooking fish, cooking fish from war, because that was a major OCD trigger for some time, you know, just based upon, you know, my OCDs, as I mentioned in a previous video about cooking things that need to be cooked and, like, my OCDs around contamination and making sure they're cooked properly and stuff. So my support worker's been helping me with that because I'm, like, really motivated to try and overcome it because I love food and I really enjoy nutrition and that's, like, my motivation for overcoming it and I'm getting a lot more confident doing that and I've even started to cook it a bit on my own as well. But um, my support worker is currently helping me to poach salmon because I'm more confident at the moment with like baking fish. Um, but like poaching is a really, really quick and easy way of cooking fish. And I think um, I'm hoping to be able to do that on my own very soon when I've built up enough confidence and I've done it enough times with my support worker. That's the one I'm hoping very soon to do on my own as well. Um, because it's a lot quicker than baking fish. And, you know, once I'm seeing how quick it is and how easy it is, um, I'm, I don't think it'll be that long before I'll be starting to poach fish. Probably starting with salmon because that's the one I'm most familiar with at the moment. Um, but yeah, I did a poached salmon with tarragon um, recipe. I got that one. I'll put the links to the recipes I use um, on the video as well. Because um, I, I often go on BBC Good Food. I don't know if any of you are aware of BBC Good Food. I can't wait to get highly enough. It's a really good website if you want to do your own home cooking. Because all you have to do is you just type in an ingredient into the search bar. So, I don't know, it could be any ingredient. You might have something in a fridge that needs to be used up or you might want some inspirational cooking ideas. You type in that ingredient into the search bar and it gives you all of these recipes. It's absolutely fantastic. And so I'm often going on there trying to get cooking ideas and then I will, um, when I've decided, oh, I'd like to do this recipe, then I'll um, write it out in, my, in this book here, you know, under, say, potatoes, rice or um, pasta or soup or whatever. Yeah, so um, I got poached salmon of tarragon off BBC Good Food. Um, it's uh, and I'll put the link up there um, for you, so you might want to be if you're ever interested in trying that recipe. It's a really good one. Um, it's served with creamy green beans and baby new potatoes, and it was basically a lemon creme fraiche 
tarragon, garlic, green beans, salmon fillets and cooked baby new potatoes. So the salmon went with this creamy green beans, creamy beans, creamy bean side and it's really, really nice. Um, so that was my savoury one. Um, I also, of course, this is my dessert one here. And uh, that's dessert, sweet dishes and cereals. Um, I absolutely love I can't say this enough, right? I absolutely love porridge. I do. I really love porridge. Do any of you like porridge? If you do, let me know. Um, I'll be interested to know what you like to eat for breakfast. But porridge is one of my really big things. Because people often think, oh, porridge, you know, what can you do with porridge? It's just boring. It's just porridge. It's just oats. But actually, there's a whole world of porridge out there. You'd be surprised. Um, BBC Good Food has got quite a few inspirational porridge recipes or BBC Food. Um, which I also sometimes use, where BBC Good Food is a little bit better than BBC Food, um, for some reason. Um, so yeah, um, one of my favourite porridges that I've got, I've made a few times now, um, I got this from, I'll put the link again, I'll put the link on the bottom of the uh, uh, video for you to check this one out if you're interested, www.rebelrecipes.com, it's a really good website, it is a vegan website, now I'm not a vegan myself, but there are Quite, I do know that there are quite a few recipes, vegan recipes, that are really, really nice and interesting. Um, so it's worth checking that one out. Um, this porridge, it was banana coconut porridge, topped with coconut yogurt and a little almond butter and fresh raspberries. Or you could use blueberries, you could use strawberries, you could use mango. The world's your oyster, really. The basic recipe is just oats, a small banana that you mash, uh, water or nut milk. Because I'm not a vegan, I sometimes use cow's milk as well, but I have tried almond milk and that was really nice. You cook that all together, you know, as you would normal porridge, about five minutes in a pan. It's up to you, but you could add other things such as cinnamon, maybe a little bit of vanilla extract. Um, and of course, it's got desiccated coconut in it. I mustn't forget that one. Desiccated coconut, banana, oats and milk or water. And then the toppings, um, there are a way of different toppings you could use. You could try it with almond butter. You could add raspberries. You could add toasted coconut flakes. You could add coconut yogurt. You could add seeds. You could add pomegranate seeds. You can mix and match. You know, I've tried it with all of those all at once. Now, that was truly decadent. But I think my favourite topping has to be, so far, it is absolutely amazing. Koyo, I think that's right. Um, I'd have to double check. It's a company. Um, vegan raw chocolate coconut yogurt. It is absolutely amazing. I tried a small dollop of this on this, on this um, porridge and it actually tastes like chocolate ice cream but without the health cost because it doesn't have any sugar in it or any like things you might not want to have, you know, that aren't particularly good for you. Um, I mean, obviously coconuts are very calorific so it is quite high in fat but you only need a small amount and they sell them in these like small little pots and it's amazing on this porridge. Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing. Do check it out. Um, obviously, if you're not in the UK, you might not be able to access that particular company, but there'll you, probably be other, you know, options out there um, because there's a whole world of um, yogurts out there, you know, dairy and non-dairy to experiment with that can go with your um, porridge and it's really good. Um, so that was one that I particularly enjoy having. Um, so yeah, so as I say, so that's my uh, porridge book. Um, not just porridge, I also desserts and other things in there as well. Um, another thing I like doing, because I have a very, um, this, this video is really just to showcase my, uh, my cooking journals, but very briefly, um, I love lists. I do love lists. Um, book lists, film lists, blog lists, I love lists. So this is my list book. I managed to get this from for Works, so the Works being one of my favourite shops, Suffolk and H&M. And um, in this one, so I've got a food to try list, I've got a books to read list, and I'll be ticking them off as I work my way through them. It's quite a long list at the moment, but it's got all the books I like to read. And then at the back, I've got a films to see list, which I'll tick off as well. So just to give you an example, some of the films I like to see, I don't know if you've seen any of these films, do let me know if you have, or any films that you'd recommend. Um, please put them in the comments below, I, I'm always I'm looking out for new films to see. But I've got on here films such as The Seventh Seal, 400 Blows, these are kind of classic films, and I do like classic films. Gaslight, which stars Ingrid Bergman, The Glass Menagerie, The Company of Wolves, The Devil's Backbone, Owl of a Wolf, Marnie, you, you, uh, Marnie, which is a Hitchcock film, I do like Hitchcock films. Spellbound, The Spirit of a Beehive, Naked, A Razor Head, Kez, <clears throat> and so it goes on. And um, 
yeah, I've got a really long book list to read as well. One of the books I'd really like to read is called The End of the Road by John Barth. I don't know if any of you have read that. It's an American book, but it's a very philosophical book about a man who's kind of experiencing some sort of crisis in his life about choices and things. I really want to read that one. And um, that's why I've put an asterisk next to that one. And another book I'd really like to read is the National Trust book of Afternoon Tea because that's got all these different recipes in there. And there's a few autobiographies I like to read, such as A Pony in a Bedroom by Susan Dunn, which is an Asperger's autobiography. That's quite high up on my list. Um, when I've read these books, by the way, I might do um, a video on them as well, like a book review one, um, which might which you might find interesting. So, yeah, so I, um, I hope you enjoyed wa watching this video. Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk very briefly about a recent trip I made to Arundel and some of the foods I've tried recently. Okay, so thank you.